All right, we're here doing division word problems for our notes. You should have some notes in front of you that are going to kind of outline what I'm going to talk about. So I should follow the formats, and you should have keywords on your notes written down. So we're going to go over a couple of keywords for division. Um, one of them would be divide. So if you ever see divided among or divide into groups, so we're going to write divide among, um, equal, when they're talking about putting things in equal groups, that would be a keyword. Um, so let's go ahead and put groups in there since we've said it twice. Groups, each, and each is kind of tricky because this can be for multiplication, put multiplication, two, and division because they kind of are cousins, so they go hand in hand. So you really have to read the question carefully and make sure it's talking about division. Um, per, split, and sometimes they'll say split into groups or split among, and then share. A lot of times in division problems, they'll talk about sharing things among um, a bunch of different people. Okay, so then we're going to go to steps to solving word problems. If you are not done writing the keywords, this is the beauty of a recorded note taking. Pause it and write it down. Okay, but I'm going to move on. So step one is going to be read the entire problem. You want to make sure you're reading the entire problem. Okay, don't just skip around and pick out the numbers first because that can get you into trouble. Number two, write out the equation. Sometimes, guys, these word problems are not going to be one step. They're going to be multi-step, meaning that there's more than one equation that you're going to be working out. So it could be that you only have one equation. It could be that you have multiple equations. So write out the equation or equations. Number three, complete the process carefully, meaning show your work. carefully and check your answer. This is big. You need to make sure you're checking your answer. Um, with division, you can check it with multiplication. And now that you guys know double digit, you should be able to check your answer um, pretty quickly. Number four, does this make sense? Does your answer make sense? If you have 440 divided by 5, a one-digit number is not going to make sense. You're going to want a two-digit number. And then number five, um, 